Hi everyone, welcome to another night in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and tonight we have our fabulous duo, Claire Corbett and Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi so, everyone. So you've all been waiting for. Us. Absolutely. And uh, I've just been well, we've had a bit of struggle getting Simon's head in tonight because we've told him that not only have we sold out, the numbers are quite high. So we've got forty five coming to the demo day with him and Claire. So he's quite chuffed anyhow. And I also told him about the coach shop we're putting on to Timberley. So if you could all let him know that you've actually booked for me. <laughs> And not for the coach ride to Tim. Just the, bring him the, down a peg or two. It's the combination. I can't, I can't take all this the credit. Is, yeah, this. this is I like can't a take magic all the team. I know, but I think they're yeah. excited about the coach ride to Timpler. I think. Well, I'm very excited. I've already said I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be front of the bus. So anyway, we're in for a great night tonight with Claire. Claire's going to use um, Bridget's Bridget connection <laughs> cake. I can never get it out, but you know what it is anyhow. And I'm using it tomorrow night on a much bigger cake. And Claire's come up with a fabulous idea tonight, which I think you're all going to be excited about. I've not seen it myself yet. I'm quite excited. And, uh, and that's it really. We've done the wish list. So if you want anything that Claire is using tonight, it's on the wish list. So you just go to our Facebook page, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And if you go across the top, the pink banner, so you've got a Sugar and Crumbs logo in the middle, across the top, go to FB Live wish list, drop down, just lose, press the little arrow, drop down, and you'll see Claire right at the top there. And everything she's using will be in that wish list. Obviously, if you watch me on my live last night, you can go back into mine and add things from there to the basket. And if you were looking at Lee Carroll stuff on Monday, you can go back there, you can put your whole big shopping basket together. Don't forget to pop into the clearance box and don't forget to add classes, which Claire is here to tell you about. Look at this beauty. So we're going to show you this, okay, this is a beauty, and I just want to explain about Claire's classes. So Claire is going to do a series of towers, uh, treat towers. So she starts off with her first one, which was the mermaid tower. Now, because of the ladies who bought that mermaid tower... Oh, I just lost one. Just lost one. It's because of the ladies who bought a mermaid tower, we've said to those ladies, if they want to buy future classes, they can buy the future classes at £15, which is amazing. That's like half price. So basically, and if you buy this tower at full price, then you can go and buy the mermaid tower at half price. So it's there on the website. And also Claire's going to do a Halloween tower and a wedding tower as well, and possibly a Christmas tower if we can get them in. So you're going to want to learn all the different elements that she's going to do in those so when you go on the website and you see members price that's because you bought one tower at full price so you can buy any tower you want at full price and then you can buy the others but I will tell you I've not released the other towers yet okay we're releasing them one at a time so this weekend um, once uh, sorry not this weekend once this class is out of the way when's this class being done Claire this one is being done on the, at the uh, something <laughs> of September. Right, okay, so when this one's done, okay, I'm then going to release the Halloween Tower, which is next, is it? Yeah, Whereas, and that's yeah. at the beginning of October. Yeah, we're going to do that one, and then we've got other towers going on, but, but they're going to be great. there's also two other classes in between those as well, there's the treat boxes, and there's yes. the, um, the first birthday cake as well. Yes, so treat... in amongst. Yeah, you want to look at the treat boxes, look at the first birthday cake, that's fabulous. I know lots of you are excited about those. And Claire's also using this, um, a range of chocolate moulds on those as well. And we've just got two new ones in. So let me just show you this one. So is the moulds still here, actually? Uh, yeah. Oh. oh, don't know what I did with it. Just hang on a second. Let me find them all. The girls were taking pictures of it today. Uh, ah, here they are. Don't go away with that tower yet. Oh, okay. You stay there with it. So this is a new mould that's actually in, okay? So it's a chocolate mould, so you get a chocolate bar with it. See if I can put it on there, Simon can oh, yeah. pick it up. So you get the chocolate bar, and Karen's made it already, so you get the chocolate bar, and then you've also got your mini bars, so that's great, isn't it? So they're a bit smaller than your other mini bars, but how cute are those? So Karen did these this morning, and then we've also now got the cubic mould in as well. Isn't that good, that look? You'll notice the different goals on it. She's actually put three different goals on there. But doesn't that look great? Ooh, so they're on the website. Gold, so Pardon? Beautiful. That's lovely, yeah. So I think that's a combination of sparkling gold, bright gold and rich gold she's got on there. Yeah. But don't they look good? Look, I like the way that you turn it, you get different colours on it. I like that. So those are in stock now. 
Yeah, so put those back there. And then I wanted to show you this bubble mould as well because Claire coloured one up for us last time and that's this one. That's been done with milk chocolate though, hasn't milk it? Milk chocolate, than yeah. The white yeah, that like. I did, yeah. And this is with our tempered chocolate as well. But how cool are they? So again, if you're looking, when you do the treat tower class, uh, the treat box class, you know, Claire's put some ideas together in that class, but you can use any of these chocolate molds. Yeah, so use any it's like. whatever we've got in stock. She's going to use, yeah. she's going to do lots of patterns and designs for you and you can use all the other molds as well. And then the new glitters that I've been telling you about, I've given them to Claire and she's going to talk to you about them later. So we're going to, they're on the way girls, they're on the way. So uh, she'll talk to you about those later because she's got a little idea to do with those for her next den. Yeah, right, so I'll get those out of the way and I'm going to leave you to it, Claire, and get on comments. Lovely, thank you. So yeah, I'm going to use these later on. Um, but for now, I'm just going to pop these back here. I've got the tray to the side, so I'll come in and towel back over in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to tell you briefly about this one. Um, so yeah, it's the second one that we'll be doing. Um, and this again is uh, mostly chocolate, but there's a lot of meringue work on here as well. Um, I don't know if you can see particularly well, but there are tiny little baby feet there, and they are piped meringue. And there's varying sizes of baby feet all over it. Um, oh yeah, I'll just move it in a little bit. Okay, so you've got all kinds of things on here, loads of different cake pops, cakesicles, and the big thing, of course, is your big chocolate bubble balloon garland which I think is gorgeous and then a beautiful topper on there as well which we've taken that up to. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about this now because we need to crack on but um, as usual this is what I've chosen to do because I love a bit of every colour but of course you can just pick your own colours to do on the day and it would look gorgeous just in a couple of colours. It's so. beautiful I love it absolutely love it. Well, it, it's just really fun, isn't it? It just sort of screams yeah. children, new baby, baby sort of thing. So, I think it's great for. I think it's a great for any child's birthday as well. Yeah. I also absolutely. think it's great for a new baby, and like you say, the gender reveal. It's brilliant, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we're going to do it on the day is the gender reveal. Anyway, so I'll pop this to the back, and then we will crack on, and I will tell you what we are doing tonight. So the teddy bear mould um, was the BWB moulds, okay, and I am chasing the lady who stocks them for us to um, get some more in. If not, I'm going to look for some alternatives, so I'm on that one, okay. Okay, just have a quick wipe down. Now that's been I'm a bit glittery. And there is, there is teddy bear moulds in stock, so grab what you can there. Yeah, grab what you can while you can, because um, I use them for everything. So, what we're doing tonight, guys, is we are going to make marbled buttercream cakes in not one, but two ways, because I'm going for a new lateness record tonight. We're going to be here <laughs> till one. God. <laughs> well, not really. I'm going to do it as quick as possible. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to do a couple of different ones. I've got one that I've uh, made with Bridget's ganache cake kit in the freezer already, so that I can uh, show you that, because obviously the one that I'm making live for you I won't be able to undo because it needs a lot of time to chill and the other one I'm going to do on a cake that I've done plain in the kit and I'm going to um, do one that's only like a partial covering with the marble so I'll show you both techniques they're both different looks but they both look fantastic so both of those so I've got loads of buttercream made up here but I do need a little bit more so we're just going to make some of that quickly and then we shall crack on so I'll just take you over to the mixer and watch your ears. So I've just got 250 grams of butter in the mixer right now. And I've already pre-whipped that a bit, so it was nice and soft before we got on camera. I'm just going to let that go for a second. Because what we want when we're doing this is really lovely soft buttercream. We don't want it too firm. So you really sort of want to whip the living daylights out of it. my 
We've got a nice audience watching tonight, so they're both oh. looking. They're all. They're both. They're. Yeah. <laughs> they're uh, all looking forward to. Uh, Great audience of two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who've we got? Who's saying hi? Oh, there's loads. You've got Kathy Eaton about Har Harlem horses. Uh, uh, Pat Broderick's watching. Angela Blag. Um, loads of people are here. Uh, Look, the whole well, crew's in, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So they're saying the cake is beautiful. Harlem Horses says it's great for children. Children always love picking bits and not supposed yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Cake. So this is perfect for them. Yeah. They say Geraldine says it looks amazing. Oh, Geraldine. It's Geraldine insane. says, Claire has the new glitters. Oh my God. It's an idea for the next demo, Simon's beard. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally up for that. We can do that. Well, we could do one of those lovely... What's my beard um, got to do with it? What well, hasn't your beard got to do with it? just get blinged up. We could do one of those. Have you seen that everybody wears at festivals? They have like the glitter down the face here and then we could bring it in the other side with the beard <laughs> just for a bit of... Oh yeah, I can see it already. You look beautiful. So in goes my icing sugar. So we're just making regular buttercream tonight. We're not making Swiss meringue. Just regular old butter and icing sugar buttercream. To the side and as Carol says, chop it in or else I'll get told off for uh, leaving a dust cloud. Oh, don't worry, I left a massive one yesterday. <laughs> oh God, that smells lovely. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Have you just opened this texture there, was it? No, this one's key lime. Oh, is it? Oh, I yeah. love key lime. Really nice. We're giving it a good chop chop. What should we talk about while I do this? <laughs> Anything to say? Okay. Well, should we talk about the coach trip then? Yeah, let's go. Let's go on the coach trip. <laughs> and I don't want to be at the back of the bus. Because I've never the been to Timperley, Simon. There's nothing you there, never. Carol. No, well, I keep saying that. I wanted to know why you were going to Timperley. But now that I'm hiring a coach for us all to go, I need why to know where you're going. Us. Why do you go to Offerton? I don't go to Offerton. That's another <laughs> place. That's another place I don't go to. <laughs> I'm actually quite fond of Timpley myself, to be fair. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, to be fair, I went to college there, and then about 15 years later, I was a tutor at the same college. I wish yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just funny how it comes round, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I do have quite fond memories of Timpley. I did my fair share of necking there back in the day. Did you? Oh, I. <laughs> Well, maybe Simon's going to show us how to go necking in simply then. I think he it's should. It's not happening. <laughs> Don't be shy, Simon. <laughs> Come on now. Right. His little face, he's actually quite keen on the idea, I think. What, necking in Templey? Yeah. <laughs> Would it be funny if 45 of us got off the coach and followed Simon for a walk, <laughs> like the Pipe Piper? <laughs> Back on, and we don't wait. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We don't mix this for long now. Oh, it down fraction. So Rachel Cook loves the tower. In fact, everybody loves the tower. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. So Margot Cook is having a bit of a nightmare with the ganache kits. Now this is the first time that Claire's used the kit. She's used it this afternoon. Her cake is about to be revealed, so she's so I've had to get her one because um, she wanted to do a small one, and nobody's done the small one before, not even including us, the five-inch one. And um, we've used the small Wilton baking tin. Do you want to show them there? Right. Sorry. So we've used the small Wilton spring foam, uh, spring form baking tins. Um, so these are great. They're four-inch. They're perfect for the five-inch ganache kit. Um, so anybody who's got those, and I'll be making my Christmas cakes in those as well this year. Oh, the dinky little Christmas cakes. Yeah, the, little Love stuff, that. the little cracker that I made last year. Yeah. I started off as a giant one, I had to make it again, a bit smaller. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so first time Claire's done it, so we'll wait for her reveal shortly, and then she's going to show you how to do it. And then tomorrow I will be in making a big one, and I've never made a big one. I'm making a 10 inch. I was going to make a 12, but... Um, I didn't have a 12 inch pan and I thought I'm not buying it I'm not getting another no, one no. from the warehouse 10 is a good size 
it'll be um, it's a nice size actually when you for when you've got to flip it over yeah because when they're small you feel like you're going to throw them don't you but yeah. there's no danger of it going anywhere with a turn yeah so leslie smith says i haven't been on a live for such a long time leslie what you been uh, doing, Leslie? So she says, please forgive me. Well, she's become famous. Have you not seen everything? But Leslie's been in the newspapers, on the radio. Oh, fantastic. Oh, you should read up on it. She's had a really good write-up. So uh, wow. about her life before sugar and crumbs and baking and everything yeah. else. And she was very nice to include us in her bio. So very nice. How lovely. So anyhow, so Leslie says it's been a long time. Um, if, and forgive her if it's been spoken about already, but are there any new flavors coming out in time for Halloween? We're not bringing out any new flavors for Halloween, but toffee apple will be back and apple crumble will be back. Cinnamon swirl's always good. Ginger uh, gingerbread will be back this year and Santa's snowball, which I know is not for Halloween, but it will be here for Christmas. Um, pumpkin spice and pumpkin spice latte. They're all going to be um, released at the end of September. We would like to release them at the beginning of September, but as you know, we're ready to launch our new shots range, which is the sugar and crumbs flavor shots, the ice and sugar shots, and then the whipping it up shots. They're due to be released next week. Fabulous. And Deb Boldage, we won't be dogging, don't worry. We'll be necking. <laughs> The doggy is Stockport, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Beautiful. And Jackie McMinn said she's de she's devastated. She's not coming to your demo day. Jackie. I'm a bit devastated too. And the cubic mould is, it's not cube, but the cubic mould is on the website for sale. So um, you'll see that on the website. So the little baking tins are absolutely fabulous. You'll love them. I used them all last year for loads of stuff. And I think people were a bit surprised uh, thinking, oh, they're a bit small. But by the time that you've covered them and put your sugar paste on, they actually turn out into quite a decent size cake. Yeah. And if you are in Georgie Godball's class, um, lots of ladies use them for the cotton reel class. And you can always use a five inch ganache kit like we've done yeah. tonight and you get a lovely layer of ganache on there yeah absolutely they're ideal for this and where do you post your photo of the nifri nozzles go to the community yeah. group <laughs> kathy and go into announcements and you post there I'll get somebody to tag you in if they can. So where you're all posting your nifty nozzle, nifty nozzles um, for the competition, um, you post there. It won't be drawn until mid-September because we are still dispatching Canada, Australia, Malaysia, Hawaii, freaking everywhere, um, and the USA. Oh, I do not know about it. Well, I know about the nifty nozzles. Yeah. No, there's a competition. So we want it to be we want um, everybody to be included in it so that there's an opportunity for everyone to win a second set. Right oh guys, I'm feeling nervous. Shall we get it out of the freezer? Just do it. Should Try to pull it. it. I think we should. Oh are you ready, yeah, to yeah. do it, yeah. I'm gonna pop let's this one back it. in the let's fridge for now. We'll let's do it. That one first. Yes, rum and raisin ice and sugar will be back out, um Shelper. Irish cream, that will be back. <laughs> Ooh. Right, Here we, we go. need to stick something under that to push it up. I will do. What have we uh, got there? Um, what have we got small enough to go under? Oh, I know, why don't you grab a glass in the cupboard? Or a cup? This one? Uh, in the drawer, sorry. This one? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. You could use uh, that one. Yeah. That's your option, so. Right, here's the moment where we all hold our breath. Might just have to wait for a minute, just go. What do you mean? Till it I'm still really supposed to be holding in. my breath. <laughs> oh, there it's coming. Yeah, there you go, it's coming nicely. Are we excited? Are we nervous? <laughs> 
Oh, Kathy Eaton's coming on the second. Oh, Kathy, that's great. The last um, for the fourth of September, you need to, or if you're coming to the demo day on the fourth of September, you need to place your click and collect before half past one. So if ever you come into a demo day, the last time to place your order is half past one, that's the latest time, on the Friday before. Now I've got to be honest, I'm well impressed with this because um, it's it's small but looks big, doesn't it? It does. That's great. So and it's looking fabulous. Do I take the bottom off yes, or do you... I ping this off first? Um, you need to take it off the glass before you ping anything off anywhere. <laughs> And then when you come to ping it, so do you want to stick it on this turntable so they can see? Absolutely. So, um, so this is the big reveal, girls. So Claire popped in because I forgot to send a ganache kit to Claire. So she arrived and here told at me five during the live on Monday night. Yeah, sorry, I know I remember <laughs> then. So um, she got here at five o'clock, and then she's made this, and this has been in the freezer since she made it. So first of all, Claire, hold the um, ganache hold the tab. Uh, hold the tab. Then take off, take the, off clip. the clip. Yeah, my hands aren't big enough to push the clip and hold that down. Right, here we go there. <laughs> Just hold the top of your cake. That's it, yeah. And then you you have to put some pressure on them. Well, it's definitely frozen then, isn't it? It's hundred percent frozen. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Is that um, normally happens. Yeah, and then then you can let off your. Uh, thing now. Nervous guys. Be nervous. I'm nervous for you. Go on. <laughs> Come on, take it. Yeah, go on, keep going. Don't do it too slow. There you go. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Isn't this beautiful? There you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this has been made with buttercream. And Claire's going to show you how to make this, okay? So this has been made with buttercream and she arrived here at five o'clock tonight. She had to get her buttercream ready. And then I was going, do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? She's going, yeah, yeah, I think I know what I'm doing. Right, right, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking, not really. Right, so you need that's a board usual. from the top end now, don't you? Do you need a board? I do. So just stick that on, don't so flip I'll it just over. a little bit of buttercream on there just yep. to hold it in place and I like to put a little cross hatch in there. Yeah so any other demo days you need to order on the Friday before last order at half past one. Yeah then you're gonna flip that up. That's a tricky bit. This is the nervous bit because that's not properly stuck to it. Yet. Yeah no. One two three. Yep. And slide that back over. Pull this badger off eventually. Yeah, you might just need to flick him off with a palette. With a palette knife. Yeah. So see where your thing's can... just lifting out there. Yeah. Oh, you just lifted up then. Yep. There he is. Yay. Oh my god, the top looks amazing! Yeah, look at that ladies, what do we Woo. think? Now, as you know, I can't get a perfectly smooth cake. How fabulous is that? Isn't that beautiful? So you know I can't get a straight side, you know that I can't get a flat top, so my cakes are always rustic, and, um, and uh, Claire can do this, she can do it quite easily, but um, you know, she asked me what did I want to, want to, want to show you, and I said the ganache ganache kit because she was originally just going to do the marble kit and then she went go on then and as you know she's always up for game there you go great so look at that they absolutely out, love it so this is the small ganache kit yeah put it in the fridge for now do you mind yeah so it's going in the fridge they love it absolutely now she's going to show you how to make the buttercream and how to how to do it all. So How to do I'm it get all. this one out and I'll yeah. have to put that back in the fridge in a min. Yeah. I'm going to pop this one I in the it. fridge. But I just want to put a bit more buttercream on there. Yeah. I think because I've noticed a little gap and I want to make it as smooth as I possibly can. Don't drop this. Clear. And they Don't all absolutely this. love that. I'm actually me? so pleased with how I know I can see you are. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? You sort of, you know it's going to work and then it's like, please, please, don't let me down, don't let me down, don't let me down. Well, <laughs> this is basically, I'll explain myself, guys. I was going to do it this second way tonight anyway and then I had this brainwave on Sunday night and the text Carol was like, I know it's Sunday night and everything, <laughs> yeah. but... You don't have to answer me now. <laughs> yeah, but can we? So that's what, that's what the plan was. Right, so I'm just going to pop a little bit more buttercream on this and then I'm going to pop that back in the fridge and then we're going to get started with our ganache kit again but I do need to go and give that a quick wash. They're just saying, so, your, I'll wash it, they're just saying your you. marble one looks fantastic with purple roses. Do you want to read the comments? Oh yeah. Why I go and wash up? Okay. Yeah. It would look amazing with um, any sort of florals on there I think. Can I just but tell you, when you wash this, you mustn't put it in the dishwasher and you mustn't wash it in hot, hot water. Just warm, soapy water. Yeah. So has that cake been in the fridge or the freezer? Or no, freezer. Just, just that. This right. one has been in the fridge. Right. Oh, sorry. No, the other one I think they talked about. Oh, the no, other one was in the freezer. It was me asking, I meant that oh, one. Oh, right. This one here? Yes. Yeah, this one's been in the fridge. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, just a little bit more. Shall I move this over a little bit and then I'm not as to one side? So, what would you... Well, I think they're the jumping the gun here, but what would you decorate the cake without, without taking away from the marble? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes. You would? Okay. That's a good thing that you want to know because I'm going to show you in a bit. Just let me do all the other things, and then at the very end of the live, that's They're telling you about what it'd be great with, but, you know, they, they're going to see, aren't they? Yeah, they are going to see. But some flowers as well as what I'm going to do will be absolutely stunning. But just, I would say, one statement flower would be enough with that kind of design. You don't want to go crazy. You could always put, like, uh, a flower and maybe some... Uh, just a couple of macarons or some chocolate balls or something like that with it would look really, really nice. But you don't want to go nuts. So you may well be wondering why Claire is doing this one because this one, this cake she covered herself first and because she's got this design for you and then the one that we put in the fridge is the one that she's done with the ganache kit. So, because uh, as we said, Claire knows how to, how to buttercream a cake. <laughs> <laughs> she's not like some of us. <laughs> Right, that's all nice and washed for you. You're a legend, thank so you, Carol. So why are you putting another layer on? Um, I'm there? just putting it on um, because I uh, missed a bit, basically. Ah, right. So that's why I'm just chucking a cheeky extra layer on now. And for some reason, I've done the whole thing where I actually meant only to fill in that gap. But you know when you start talking and then before you know it, you've done more than you should have. That's what happened. So going to take this down again so what I've just put on I'm taking most of it off but I always think it's nice to watch somebody covering a cake in buttercream anyway mm, so agree. enjoy yourselves guys fill your boots <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those videos that you get on YouTube it's like satisfying stuff that can make you feel all sleepy I find this to be one of those things And it's actually, that was, like I say, my first go. And um, I feel like it went really, really well. I'm chuffed with that. So. Um, Tracy Scrivens is asking where the competition is. The competition for receiving the nifty nozzles. I presume, is there any other competition we've got at the moment? No, I think, right. I think that's the one we've I got. So it's in the one. community group. The competition for the nifty nozzles is in the community group. And I am sure it's in announcements. So pop to announcements and then you place your picture there. You've got to place your picture with all your nozzles 
and um, my handwritten signature. It's what's confirmed the, the, the originality of the Nifri nozzles. No, because lots of people have bought sets before. Yeah, they're so. not, but they're not Nifri nozzles, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no. They're not genuine Nifri nozzles. <laughs> they're not a collector's item, though, isn't no, no. they? <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want me to do comments again, Sam? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> right, so here we go. Seems your world's in trouble already. Me? Yeah. What have I done? <laughs> Yeah, but they're not Nifri nozzles, are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I think that's looking pretty good. So Margot said she's had no problems with the um, ganache kit with chocolate, but she's not mastered the buttercream. But don't worry, Claire's going to show you tonight, and I'm going to show you tomorrow. I think the buttercream, so if you put your ganache in while it's still really runny, I think that's a little easier, isn't it? You've not got to force it in so much. Whereas with the buttercream, you've really got to force that in. So. Yeah. so, yes, you can cover it with sugar paste kit. So, after once you've done your cake, of course, you can sugar it, uh, cover it with sugar paste. But to be okay. fair, I'm always so impressed how lovely and straight it is. I don't want to cover it with sugar paste. <laughs> yeah, they just look really nice as they are, don't they? Put that in the fridge. Right guys, should we do this? Should we do the main attraction? We should. So Donna has a nine inch kit, but wants to ganache an eight inch kit. How do I use it? Okay. So with the nine inch kit, put it in a nine inch tin. Put the foam around the inside of the nine inch tin. Then you're gonna, then, so sorry, put your piece of paper on. Put your foam in, the purple foam that you've got with it. Cut it to size, then put in your ganache kit, the the, um, the cover here, I can't think what it's called at the moment, whatever the collar in, put that in and then put your 8 inch cake in the middle. So then f follow what Claire's going to do. Right, I'm just using the other side of the liner because I've still got the pattern on that one. Just use the and the other thing, it. with your collars, when you get your, foot, your collars, they're quite stiff at first. Make sure you roll them off. I'm going to get Claire to yeah, show Carol you. Yeah, Carol showed me before. Yeah, you've got I was to doing it wrong. Yeah, you've got to roll them because when Claire put this in, because it was brand new, we sort of had a square. We had a straight side. Mm. So roll it up. So nice you've got to really tight. give it a good, give it a good roll. Make sure it's rolled really nice and tight because when it when it comes, it's quite a loose curve, isn't it? You get more curl on it, and then it's just easier to get it lined up in your tin easy to get it in and straight and then clipped right so that's it so what I've got in here now is my liner at the bottom of the tin so I've got a loose bottom tin a liner then I put my collar in and then I put the clip on there and then that is ready to go so the next thing we want to do is get our buttercream ready. So that to the side for a second. So I've just gone quiet ready. for a minute while I find the um, competition. So I'll leave Claire chatting away and I'll find the competition for you all. Yes. Yeah, somebody said it's not an announcement. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. So just get my cakes ready so I'm not messing about with cling film when the time comes. Two. And a third. The lovely little cakes though, out of those tins, they rise lovely. Yeah, the nice uh, Karen made them for you yesterday. She's a babe. John thought we was doing a, a ganache kit, a 10 inch cake, a 3 inch cake, a, a 4 inch cake, and what else was we doing? Oh, my cup, no, I mean, cup and saucer all last night. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rather you than me. Can you imagine if I was doing all that in this yeah. night? No, it just wouldn't happen for me. Okay, right. I have a lovely soft, soft, soft buttercream over here. So that's what I want to use for this. And I'm going to take some of it into another bowl, a good amount. 
Right, you're right. I can't find the competition and announcements. Does any has anybody been in there? Can they tag me in it, and then I can find it and um, can we pin it back yeah. to the top? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit more because I don't wanna run out. So now I've just got my regular white buttercream in this bowl and what I'm going to do is grab my uh, Cool Splash Black, but I'm going to get my packing bags ready first. Yay, thanks Rachel, thanks very much, great, found it, thanks, well done for that. Right, let's go and pin it again. Right, it's now back in announcement, thanks very much Rachel Cook. I get too ready just in case one can always go back in the cupboard. But you never know when you might need a bit extra. No. So that's two. And actually, no, what I'll do in one of them is put some white because uh, with the last one I did white at the end and that looks really good. So I'll do that again. I'm really excited to see what you're going to do with this. It's going to blow your mind, Carol. Are you going to blow my mind? That's what we like. That's what we like. <laughs> Tell you, it's all exciting I'll here, try. isn't it? You're going to blow me light, my mind. Simon's going to take us to Timperley. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're scared now, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> I, can't, I just can't believe that still after all this time, he's never, what, he's never asked to take me there. Yeah, Antonia, um, don't worry, the competition isn't going to be drawn until... Um, the end of sort of mid to the end of September. I need to wait that everybody gets their as it gets their nozzles in all the other countries. So you've still got plenty of time. And I do believe that we redispatched your nozzles again today. I dispatched them last week, um, and we've redispatched them again today. I know they're held up in the Hermes system, but we'll sort that problem out. So uh, as far as I'm aware, Karen has redispatched them, and I think I asked Karen to put them on the next day, so you should get them tomorrow. Right, bowl of white, black gel colour, and I'm just going to squeeze some in streaks across the top of my buttercream, and then I'm going to very lightly fold it in, but very, very lightly. Really don't want to go nuts on this. And that's plenty. Straight into the bag. Well, we've got an audience of over 300 joining us tonight. Ah. Mm -hmm. I got an audience of over 300 last night, which was great. Yeah, it was great. It was um, especially as to... everyone's away on holiday as well. Yeah, definitely. I enjoyed what I saw, but I had to disappear. Oh, did you? Last night. I promised him we'd watch a film together. <laughs> what, really wishing you could watch my cup and saucer? Yeah, well, let's just say we didn't make it all the way through the film. Oh, why? Uh, did you go to Timberley as well? No. <laughs> Nothing like it. <laughs> We're not getting any more than that, are we? No, I'm not telling you any more. <laughs> he's watching he knows what he's done <laughs> <laughs> okay now we are ready to go so move everything I don't want out of the way everything that I do want in got my scissors at the ready got my cakes at the ready and got my tin at the ready so what I'll do is actually just move those that way and this into the centre so that we can go ahead. Do you want to just check that that's in the right position, Simon, for me? There you go. Yeah, look at that. Well, I can... Fab. Go closer if you like. 
It's up to you. One. My hand's going to be. They all can't cope that you're leaving them hanging on. Leaving him hanging for what he's done. <laughs> yeah. He Don't knows. Tell him. He, he knows. knows. <laughs> Actually, nothing serious at all. Just something mildly irritating, and uh, <laughs> I was tired, so big explosion from the. Kathy Eaton said, "Oh no, he didn't tell you the ending, did he?" <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that, Kathy. We didn't get to the end because you know someone was a bit talky. <laughs> Mm. Right, in we go before I get all angered again about last night. No, I'm only joking. I'm over it. I'm over it now. Just mildly irritated at the time. <laughs> right, so I've just snipped the end off my marble buttercream bag and I'm going to put a layer. You fell asleep. Are that's you all, is that what's that's going what Lisa on? Would say. There's nobody we're interested in this that. and we're just guessing what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I told you I could just come in for a chat. I didn't actually need to make any cake. They wouldn't be bothered. Be fine. Right, so I'm just squeezing and covering the bottom. And I'm not doing it in a particular pattern. I can't really show you. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, you but you'll be it. able to show them just the have to do the front, yeah. It's a lot trickier when you're doing it on a turntable as well. Or do you want to take it off? It's too high for me to do on the turntable. I'm going to take it off, Yeah, guys. take it off. You're a, lot, you're a lot shorter than me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so bottom is done. And I've just made like a wiggly pattern. I started off with a bit whirly in the middle and then I just wiggled all over until I got it filled in. Now, first cake in, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trim these off um, and fill them anymore, mainly because that just feels like a lot of work, and we've got a lot of stuff to do tonight. So we're just gonna go in with the three layers as they are, and we're gonna pop that in and give it a little push down, and just making sure I've got a good gap all the way around the cake. And then I'm going to go back in with this bag. This is the marble bag. But what I'm going to do quickly is just squeeze some up the way so I can hold the bag a bit lower down. So down the sides and I'm pushing it right down. All the way around. right down there it's quite fiddly it is in the small ones isn't it yeah because you're trying to you get your hand, hand in the size space. in there aren't you but you're really squeezing it to force it down to the bottom yeah And then I'm just going to give that a wee tap down, a bit more around the edge. Oh, this is nice. Gillian, um, Gillian Ad Ad Agrici, um said, on holiday but couldn't miss the live, watching Aww. with the earphones on as the family watched TV. Loved the live with the nifty nozzles yesterday and got my friends at home hunting for the cup and saucer plant. <laughs> so just to let you know that... Karen's bought all the ones that got stocked up in Hyde. Janine Emery has said that if you're in Blackpool, uh, Blackpool have got a load in, and um, it looks like some places are being restocked. But um, Deb Bowditch has just said that um, Denelm has got them in. Oh, Denelm has? Yeah. Oh, that's handy. Um, Debbie, we've just chosen not to put the foam in, okay? You don't, these are four oh, inch yeah. cakes, so you can put the foam in if you want. Um, and they, they say for the four inch cakes, um, put in the foam and then only have a very small space um, so that you don't use as much buttercream or ganache. But I like it when we use the buttercream and I, I advise Claire not to bother with the foam. Um, but if you're gonna use the ganache, so that you save on chocolate, I would put the foam in so that you save on the chocolate. 
but for the buttercream and because the buttercream is thicker as well because um, the chocolate ganache you make really very loose it pours in So, um, Janine Emery from Blackpool says, if, so if she, she says, if anybody messages her, she will go and pick some up from Blackpool. And if you go into the demo day, I think she's coming on the 11th, she'll bring them with her. Um, a few other ladies have said they will get them, but I have said, don't post them. Um, I know Michelle Quinn posted them out and that was very good of her. But I, I, I think if anyone is going to post them out to ladies, I think you should take responsibility that if it arrives damaged, you don't go back to the person who was kind enough to drive to the shop, pay for it, and, not, and then go to the post office and send, send it. Absolutely. Yeah, Debbie, I prefer it with much more space around rather than foam. Whenever you watch me, I never use the foam. But I, I, I always use buttercream. I don't ganache. So I, I always use the buttercream, but with the ganache, to get, like I say, the ganache is so much looser, um, it's yeah, easier. You yeah, you wouldn't need to uh, You know, and I saw on the live that a few people were complaining about how much ganache it was used to cover, but for the buttercream, it doesn't matter. Oh, that's good. That's clever. That's what you've done then. You're swapping. Yeah, oh, so swapping to... White yeah. at the end. Do you want to just turn your pan yes, around so course, that you can so, see yeah. you've done a different height of your buttercream there, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so what I've done so is I've, in a couple of places, I've brought it up a little bit higher. Yeah, sneaky, you see, you girls, because it wasn't on the table, turntable, you couldn't see that. Apologies, yeah. ladies. Yeah, that's good. That, good idea, that, Clary. Good I idea. I have them sometimes. Yeah, Not you often. do have them, don't you, now and again? <laughs> <laughs> just, just once in a while. Yeah. So there you go, ladies. What do we think? I think it's looking pretty amazing. And you know what? There's every chance if we get this in the freezer now that by the time we finish the live, could be ready. No pressure though, huh? No pressure. Okay. We'll have a look. <laughs> Give that a little level off. There you go. Isn't that good, that? Cakes are lovely indeed. Yeah, Karen Baker. So I know some of you have asked for the recipe for the spring form cake pans. I've got to be honest, I didn't bake them. Karen came in yesterday morning. Before I knew it, she had them made, she had them mixed and in the oven straight away, uh, ready for Claire's live tonight. So um, I've taken a screenshot of the question and I will get Karen to answer it tomorrow. Okay. Um, oh, so what am I doing there? No, I am. That's right. I am doing it. That one um, seems a little bigger because I'm not sliding yeah. it in so much because my cake's a bit taller. Yeah. What I tend to do is I slip the pin up. Ah, uh, so yeah. I slip the pin up a bit, loosen it. Because it's, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. Because it's in the tin, it'll hold it. Then drop it in. So I, I do pop the, pit, the pin off just so I can get my cake card in and then I pin it back up again. Because now it's in the tin, the tin's holding it together. Good idea. Yeah. Because I haven't got a lot of room. In the other one, I could slide it in and then push down. Yeah. But this cake's a bit taller yeah. than my last one. That's why I was a bit... You ah. need to go so you go down the pan. Thank go. you. Well spotted, guys. There we go. And we're in. Right, that looks pretty amazing. Good to me. Have a quick mm. gander around. Sue there. Mary is asking, who yeah. did you say could go and buy the cup and saucer? Um, Janine Emery. She put a post in the group, and I can't. Yeah, let me see if I can. Uh, spell it. She's called Janine Emery, and she said, if anyone is going to the 11th of September demo day, which you are, Sue, she'll pick them up and take them to the demo day. So. Um, and if you message me, I will, in fact, I'll message, if you message me, I will give you Janine's number. In fact, I'll give Janine your number, if that helps. And Carol, are yeah. you getting any more SPD sugar paste in ivory? I've just put it in stock, it's around, oh, ivory. 
I think the girls forgot to order ivory. So I've just put sugar paste in stock today, but I don't remember putting ivory in stock. I don't know why they haven't ordered ivory. Right, so that's in the freezer. Can I pinch my cloth? You can. Thank you. Let's have a quick wipe down over here before we do the next one. Okay. Let's get my handle all, all white. Righto. So, bring this one back in. No, not for now. So I'm just going to get my chilled cake out and we're going to cut a piece of um, acetate for this one. Bear with me two ticks. I didn't put it in that fridge, I put it in the other fridge. What a wally. <laughs> go to this fridge now. Well, is she, is she walking, isn't it? <laughs> Getting the steps in. Um, so Sue Mary, I've just messaged Janine and give her your number so she can give you a call or a text or whatever. Me and Ke I've got to give the two Karens in our office. They've practically been everywhere collecting cups and saucers for customers. I don't know what I started there. And I'm so pleased you enjoyed last night's live. It was lovely of so many of you to message to say I should have done that as a class. So, But anyhow, what you should do is join my cupcake bouquet class. After you join Claire's treat classes, mm -hmm. that's what you should do. And Margot cut good. She said, I'm definitely giving it another go. She's not going to let it beat her. She's going to stay strong. Yes. Good absolutely. girl. Yeah, you just got to make sure that you really force it down there. That's the yeah. thing. If you don't, if you're not really sort of popping the end of your piping bag down and really pushing it down, it leaves a bit of a gap. I noticed that when I was doing my first one and I thought, oh, I'll just put my bag back in. Just keep checking it as you're going. Right, so. okay. So Claire's using some um, acetate colour now. Uh, the acetate colour we don't sell ourselves, we buy it off Amazon. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to the community group as well in announcements and on this page, there's a link to our Amazon shop. Now, basically all it is is that we're referring people that we've actually bought products from. And every time somebody buys something, we get a couple of pennies. And when I say pennies, I mean pennies. It's not very much. But you know what? It all adds up, doesn't it, ladies? So if you want to follow any of those links, and they're sellers that we've actually purchased from ourselves and know that we got the goods and they were fine. Right, time. so next up, um, I just, I didn't speak while I was doing it, sorry. This I cut, so it just went round and gave me a bit of an overlap um, around my little five inch cake there. And now I'm going to go back into my bowl and mix my grey in. I'm using all of this and I suppose I could have just mixed it in here but I want to take some of the colouring that's already at the bottom of the bowl and make that nicer for me. So again, we're just going to pop a little bit of black over the top, and that's plenty. Mm -hmm. And again, just give it a very light fold in, not a lot. That's plenty. And now I've got a sheet of baking paper that I'm going to put down on my surface and there's my acetate going on top of the baking paper. It's basically just so I don't make a mess, it's just easier to clean up this way. Yeah, Claire used a five inch tin with no foam. Yeah, no foam. So what I'm going to do now is take a palette knife and just take a bit at a time and I'm going to sort of splodge onto the surface, trying not to mix it up too much as I go. Okay. 
think I'll put that on the end so it's not moving about so much. So Claire is used, so the tins that we've used to bake the cakes are the Springform Wilton tins behind Claire. They're a pack of three, okay? And I use them for our Christmas cakes that we do, um, what we'll be doing October onwards when we start doing all the Christmas cakes. Um, but they're great for the sponge cakes and it's the Wilton Springform set of three baking tins and they're four inches. And the tin that Claire has used for the ganache kit to put the four inch cake in is a five inch tin. There we go. So I'm basically just popping this all along, trying not to mix it up as I go, I'm just being quite gentle. <clears throat> I think there's been, there's a bit of a poll going on about bringing scissors on the second. Uh -oh. <laughs> Raising money for charity. Karen Naylor's often offering to do it. <laughs> it's always one troublemaker, isn't there, Simon? Yeah. There's usually more than one. Probably. Yeah. This is very true. In that group of lovely ladies. Lovely, lovely ladies. The lovely ladies, yes. Okay, so when you're not mixing the black colour completely into the buttercream, when people eat it, does it affect the taste of the buttercream? No. And, and they end up with a black mouth? Um. With any amount of colouring in your buttercream anyway, you're going to end yeah. up with a slightly coloured mouth. Yeah. But this, on the whole, doesn't make... This is like a grey, really, mix. isn't it? Yeah. I think you should... I think you'll end up with a coloured mouth when you're using, like, you know, solid black buttercream or solid black sugar paste. You can't help that. It's, it's a colouring, isn't it? It's just one it? of those yeah. things, really. Oh, Debbie Hargreaves is up for bringing Hubby's beard trimmers. So now I've got it all on, I'm just smoothing out the back very gently, again trying not to smoosh what I've got on the other side, which looks great. Love it already. Mm -hmm. so I'll just take a little bit. Do you find that the marble effect is always nicer underneath, isn't it? I don't know why. Oh yeah. Even when, it, when you do it this way and when you do it with sugar paste, it's always nicer. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, they're having a bit of a vote now, aren't Who's going to get the pleasure of chopping your beard off? You leave him alone, my <laughs> hey, friend. I was going to say, Stop picking on my is Claire, friend. Is Claire's partner in crime on the sec in yeah. crime on the second. We can't have him doing a runner. Claire's a big fan of beards. <laughs> I am actually. Yeah, yeah. My husband's got a beard, hasn't he? he? Has yeah. I only find men with beards attractive, apparently. Pardon? Matt always says if there's somebody on telly that I really fancy, he goes, "Looks like me," and I go. Oh, yeah, you're right. And it always does. They always look like him. I, I obviously have a type. <laughs> oh. He's a very handsome man. I've got to be honest, I can't, I, I, can't, I can't even cope. I know men, I know I have men beards. I mean, Simon's is a bit of a titchy beard. But I can't stand those freaking big things. I yeah. can't stand his weird beard either, but he knows that. I've been telling him for years. <laughs> I've been telling Simon for eight years I can't stand his beard. And he's still putting up with it. He looked the best when he shaved it off once. Didn't like it. And then it all went wrong again. It grew oh dear. back. <laughs> <laughs> it does that, though. Just happens. <laughs> I don't know. Same. You know what? We would we wouldn't we wouldn't like it if we were all the same, would we? No, we wouldn't. So you enjoy beards, and I'll continue disliking them. Both my sons have got beards at the moment, but thankfully it's more the uh, very short ones. I can cope yeah, with them. Yeah, they're quite a trendy look. Their yeah. beards. Aren't I can they? cope with them. Are we ready? How are we feeling about this? Are we ready to lift it up and put it on? Yeah, we're ready. What do you want? The cake? Uh, yeah, actually, Carol, yeah, that, that would be very handy. Is it the cake in that. this fridge or yes, the cake please. in that fridge? The cake in that fridge, please. <laughs> she says, thinking, I hope it's the cake in that fridge. Yes. Fabulous. Thank you. There we go. Cheers, Carol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> few deep breaths. I know you've got to lift it up, haven't you? <laughs> I've done this before. 
I know so exactly. Why have you not done all of it there? What's what's because it's going to jagged the edge. It's not yeah. going to cover the whole cake. Right. Yeah, all will be revealed once it's on there. I've done this before, but I've not, that's why I bought the acetate colours. But I've never done a live with it. See what I mean? How the marble looks nicer, doesn't it, on the other side? It's just like when you do sugar paste. Right, you're going to have to show them what you have to do at this point now. Yep, just give me a sec. I'm coming round to the back. And I'm just going to peel back both sides. Hang on. And push. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. I'll let go of it a second there as yeah. well. Yeah. Right. So I've got it on here. Got it on? Yeah. Guess it on this if you'd like, if that would make it better. Ooh, Robert so Powell when he played Jesus. Sides. I've got to be honest, yeah, I did like him. Okay, so now what I've got is a big sort of sticky outy bit at the back, like a little duck's bottom. Yeah. Just going to smooth it round just to make sure that it's all stuck to the cake, mm -hmm. which it wasn't, but it will be. Yeah. So in fact, I think I will get a cake smoother out. Mm -hmm. And just take away any of the bits I've got. Oh. It is, it's very similar the same way as sugar colours, but sugar colours you have to, I did the sugar colour live. So it is the same way. The thing with sugar colours, you can't put them in the fridge afterwards because if they get moisture, they dissolve and crackle up and melt. Oh yeah, when you did the... Um... The bee one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. So just getting rid of some of this. Off the bottom. I've never done a live doing okay. this. I'd be too scared. Which is why I've not done a live doing it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Carol. I'll level with you right now. I've yeah. never done this before. Have you not? No. <laughs> We're just doing it now. Right. Because that's... Roll. Well, you're a bit, you're a braver girl than me. I've had a go and it came out with good results in fairness, but I'm glad you're doing it because you know why? Um, lots of people want to know, can they use the Wonder Dust to paint the buttercream? Yeah. So just giving them a big clue there now because they're going to see it. Because some ladies got a bit confused and thought that I said they could luster buttercream cakes, which I never uh. said. No. There's a difference. But so you no, can you can apply paint them. dust to your yeah. cake by painting so it. So you can paint them, but you can't luster and buff them. Because somebody was upset that they buffed their buttercream cake and it all went in a bit of a mess. Yeah. And I've said that I have never said that at all. You can paint. And if you watch what Claire does shortly, this is what she'll do. But she's a braver girl than me because I have done this. Not the marble effect. I've done another effect. And... Um, this bit where it comes to the collar at the back, which is what she's messing around with, is the bit that I thought I can't go live and do that. <laughs> There's just no way I can. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is give this a fridge for a really good while. Get it nice and cold. In fact, I might just pop it Put in, it in the, the freezer. freezer. Yeah, it'd be better. Um, to I think I need to make space for yeah, it. I'll do it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we do need to make space. But I'm pretty pleased with that. I think that looks yeah, pretty good. good as well. Did you like that? I like that, yeah. Did <laughs> a bit of a Henry's cat yawn then in the middle. But Carol, I've just put it in front of where you sit. Pardon? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. So just be careful you don't get buttercream on your sleeve because I've got a bit on the table. Okay, so what we're going to do now is decorate the other one. I'll just wipe that now. So mm -hmm. get it on you. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Right, decorating the other one. And I think I'm just going to swap gloves to a new pair. Right, so while you're doing that, I'm going to make a cup of coffee for me. Do you want one? Yeah. Do you want coffee? Yeah. TikTok. TikTok. Is right, everybody yeah. quite quiet tonight? No, they're there chatting away. It's just stuff that you can't read out, huh? Well, they're too busy talking about <laughs> you and him on the demo day. You're not doing a John, are you? And just the no, I can't way. read out some of the comments. <laughs> doing what on the I'm day? I'm staying out of it. What? You and him on the demo day going to Tilsley. And then, Tilsley? And then, what are we doing in Tilsley? Uh, Tim Timperley. <laughs> Sorry. Going to Timperley and then, then them chopping off Simon's beard. I just thought, do you know, I can't get bold. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Here we go. 
I need to grab some Wonder Dust. And they're engrossed, Claire, well, that's what it is, that's why they're yeah. not so Obviously. Good. They're engrossed. And why wouldn't you be? So, Wonder Dust. I'll grab. Done with that, done with that. Done with that. Get my cake out of this stretch. So can you see on this one where I did that change between the white and the grey? And we're just going to make a feature out of that now. Okay. Right, this is things that I should have grabbed beforehand, but I always forget. So one of those. And I've got brushes that I could do with a fine detail brush. says things have gone downhill more now that we've, now that we've gone to Tilsley. Tilsley, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not as a market, is it Tilsley? <laughs> right, bright gold thing. <laughs> and I want silver. Where are you, silver? Uh, yeah, so silver. silver, got it. Gold in one side. Shazza says hi, Claire Bear. How do you, Shaz? Right, love. I used to work with Sharon years ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> so, do you know which Shazza it is? Yeah, I do. <laughs> with the Claire Bear, I definitely know it's my Shazza. just grab a stool to do this or else my back will be killing me. So just give me two secs. Rejuvenator or dipping solution or whatever in each one. Don't go crazy, you want it reasonably thick to do this. And we're just going to pick out some of the lines. Just a few. Or else you end up losing all that lovely marble. So you just 
metallic lines. But it just gives it a little something extra. And same on the sides. looking on the camera to see where I'm painting here because I can't see while you see what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Could you come in from the side? Ah yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, Thank you. Say it before you. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. So, sorry I'm quiet while I do this, I'm not the greatest at multitasking. Um, My hand in the way. Kitty's commenting that, you, that you've got a very aggressive stir. Is your crap still in one piece? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What they saying now, Cara? Um, I was just laughing at John there. So he said things have gone downhill since we've been going to Tilsley. And then, which Simon read out before, but I'm trying to catch up on the comments. It goes so fast, doesn't it? Yeah, the thing is, have you noticed that when you go to read a reply, you can't read all the reply? So if somebody does a response yeah. and you, you reply. can't go to the top of the reply. Yeah, <coughs> oh, yeah. Me. it's um, <coughs> quite frustrating that. Yeah, so I can't read the conversation. So the one thing I do like with using the ganache kit, the little air pockets that you use, it looks like it's uh, it's quite effective, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like stone now, doesn't it? Yeah. A great audience, 310 people watching. Fab. I was dead worried, some will tell you, I was dead worried about doing it just in case. <laughs> yes, Angela, it's a sugar and crumbs hoodie. We don't sell them anymore. I don't, I don't know whether I've got any left. We, we might have one or two left, but I've stopped selling them. Oh, and thank you, Antonia, for buying my class. So, um, and we've got Claire in the kitchen, by the way, because she's showing you her treat tower class, which is why she was here. So Claire is doing a series of treat towers. And if you have purchased one of the classes, it means that you can purchase every treat tower class for half price. So <clears throat> if you purchase the mermaid, you can buy the baby shower for half price. And if you purchase the baby shower for full price, you can purchase the mermaid class for half price. <clears throat> Andy Harvey, I can. Can you just slide it up, Carol? I don't know what that means. <clears throat> okay. And Andrea Lucas says, My husband is taking me away for a couple of days for my birthday and I'm still watching Sugar and Crumbs. Oh. What's he what doing, Andrea? It's <laughs> <laughs> only football on tonight. Is he in, in the bar yeah. or something? And John's just laughing. He says, So it's not just me that gets 100 comments behind then. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm always behind. <laughs> I struggled last night to keep up with trying to read what the conversation and watch um, watch you with your giant uh, teapot mm. banter. Uh, Nikki King, um, the 16 inch square cake drums that we are waiting for, I've been after them, um, it is actually the suppliers out of stock and then somebody said if I jump on the comment and then flip it up, but I don't know what flip it up means. I've oh yeah. you. You can flip it up from the bottom where you've got a tab at the bottom and flip it up oh, from there. Right. Oh, okay. That might do it. 
Let's see if I can find the conversation then. What are you painting with there? Which colour? This is the silver, silver wonder dust. It's a really nice deep one. It's like a gunmetal silver. It's lovely. Oh, look at that. That's a bit clever, isn't it? Never knew that. It's right. I have been so you know, coming it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, good girls. It's like a separate window. Yeah. So things have gone downhill even more now. We're all heading to Tilsley. I didn't know John was coming with us. But since when have yeah, you been coming, John? John. He's driving the bus. <laughs> He's driving yeah. the bus. <laughs> yeah. Karen Ella says we'll be at Wigan Wagon Wheelwork soon. Molly, uh, Molly says, hope oh, John, you're well. Geraldine, John McFarlane, where have you been? They've all been raining in, John, because they've all been busy, been behaving themselves. I must, let, I must say, I do laugh when you, when John's on comments. You lot don't say it now. I always think, no, I'm being a bit naughty in these comments. It's no wonder John's yeah. not reading them. And Debbie said, is that worse than Timberly? She's not been to either. Neither uh, are great. Let's be honest. So again, it's just some silver and some gold picking out the lines. It looks really nice together. Geraldine Allen, I live in Berlin. We used to go to Crown Point. Why? What, necking? <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. Uh, but Crown Point years ago wasn't a great place. It's all right now. Now it's got the new Crown Point shopping area. Right, let's get back on comments because I'm probably about 200 behind now. I think the gold and silver combined looks really it looks fantastic. good. Because the gold jumps out a bit more. It's nice to have another metallic element there. Yeah, it disappeared off comments because I was making a brew. That looks lovely, Claire. What do you think of this cake? Isn't it lovely? Right, have we just lost the thing? What thingy? Thing you're looking oh, for. I've just lost it. No, no, I've just lost it. Sorry. What have you lost? I lost the feed. It must have stopped oh. somewhere. Oh, this is my video. Yeah, we're not having any troubles here. It's, it's no, it's a bit. A lot of people are complaining about Facebook and are coming yeah. to YouTube. But yeah, it's been bad for a while, hasn't it, with everybody's life? Mm. But I videos. think Facebook's doing. I'm going to have to go. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. uh, Facebook's been doing some really strange things. Okay, I think that's probably enough metallic. That looks pretty that's good. looking good. good. Okay, it looks very classy that. Side. Less is more. Very classy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Should we have some glitter then? Shall we have let's, some let's glitter? Let's make it not glitter. pop at all and put some bling on it. Make it more is more. Just have a quick sip of my drink and then we'll be straight back on it. Right. Glitter time, huh? It's glitter time. These are well posh, guys. Lorraine Pike says, Carol, I'm glad you said crown point as I read it as crown paint and was confused. <laughs> <laughs> looking good, they're all loving it. Isn't it looking great, this? So, Jacqueline O'Connor, look, it's beautiful. Love the colour and the detail. And Meecher said, when she lived in London, they went to Blackheath Common. Mm. Don't talk about Blackheath Common. Will the condensation bubbles disappear in time? Yes, yes, they will. So I will tell you, when you take out, whenever we do cakes here in the kitchen, we've only got the time we're here. So, you know, because we want to show you as we do it, it's it's very hard then to say, here's one earlier, because you'd be prepping all day otherwise. So we just have to sort of live with the condensation bubbles. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say to you, once you take your cake out, let it rest and then, um, just afterwards, just, I just, with the condensation bubbles, I don't know what Claire does, I just get the kitchen roll and just dab it round to absorb. Um, some people just leave it to rest, um, but we've just got to carry on working on it. Yeah. Okay, so I have the glitters here. Can you see those on camera? What well, you probably can't see particularly well is that it's three different um, grades of, of glitter basically so you've got your super fine then you've got a medium and then you've got a chunky 
You actually can see it really well, to be fair. Look, you can see really well that. that one's. Oh, yeah, you can see it. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah so these are going to be on the way. John did say for these glitters, do you want me to put them on over the weekend and we can do them as a bundle that will include free postage? But it would have to be a pre-order if you want to get your hands on them. So if you want to, if you want to get your hands on them, we can do them as a pre-order. And um, I, knowing John, he'll probably have me on it tomorrow. But um, I think it'll be weekend before I can do it. And I think what he said is it would be fifty. I think he said it'd be fifteen pound for the three of them on pre-order, including your free shipping. So if you if you're interested in me doing that, let me know and I will get them on. But they should be here in about three to four weeks, but they will be pre-order and you'll be the first to get them. Uh, we're not selling Wonder Dust to the um, trade yet and these won't be sold to the trade yet. What we want to do is make sure all our Wonder Dust are in the same bottles and then get these ready for the trade as well. So let me know. So I'm going to put that comment now. Yes, please. So I'm going to write a comment pre-order glitters yes or no yeah so if you can comment under my comment that would be great because that would give me an idea if you're really interested in that but please don't don't chase me when are they coming when are they coming when they're coming i feel as though you know when you go on a car journey with the kids, you put the kids in the car and get round <laughs> the corner. Are we there yet? That's how I feel with pre-orders sometimes. <laughs> so if you can just respond to my here, comment. Carol. Yep, who have we got? Got two on here. Who? Sue Mary and Vanessa White. Ah, oh, fantastic. Yep. If you can comment on, I'll, I'll remember Sue Mary and Vanessa White. But if you want to do that, so it would be the three, um, it would be the three um, different silvers. So just let me tell you, one's a very coarse one. One's a, a medium um, one and one's very fine. And we're going to be using them a lot. I'm actually sending these home with Claire. So I, w I won't have any samples to play with because I'm gonna let Claire play with them at home for when she's back in next. But if you're keen for me to do a pre-order that will include the free shipping for them, then fine, yeah. So I'm basically just putting bits of glitter. I've got a uh, flat edge brush here and I've just dipped it in rejuvenator just so it was damp enough to pick up the sparkles on the edge of my brush and then I can just tap them onto the sides because I don't want to go glitter crazy. I just want to pick up some areas with well I've got to be honest when we got the the coarse one we got as a fur sample and Laura loved it Laura yeah. in the office yeah she was lovely. like Carol you've got to get this in um, because I, I saw it and thought all oh, right I don't know what, what we're going to do with that and and um, and, and she was getting carrot Laura's put it on all over her cupcakes loves it mm. but she's painted it on like you it is a really really nice uh, all the glitters are edible and let me just check they're all suitable for vegans as well I've just I've actually just pulled off the spec sheets for them so let me just tell you about them can you see that on the camera you can just yeah. see a bit of a glitter yeah much better seeing it from up top isn't it so I'm just going yeah. to do a different size just wanted to check yeah they definitely are for vegans suitable for vegan diets see how shiny that is it's fabulous oh, isn't fuck. it yeah so if you want this, so yeah, so it's definitely, it's 100% edible. It's definitely suitable for vegetarians and vegans as well. And I showed them Claire tonight and you were like, ooh, I like them. And then she was jumping up and down, she said, I've got an idea. Cause she wasn't gonna put this on the cake at first. I said, I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Can I use it tonight? I went, come on then. 
So you will see that our cake is sweating and that's because we're having to work on it straight away. So don't panic, You, what you do is you bring yours out the freezer, bring yours out the freezer and let yours rest, all right? Yeah, it's not a big deal, it'll disappear. Yeah. And if you do get any sort of like loose colour runs, I mean, it'll add to the effect. You can just get a, a kitchen roll, so I just do a quick blot yeah. on it? Yeah. Kitchen roll, kitchen roll, where do you live? Uh, where do you live? Yeah. I generally just wrap it round and just tap it on. Yeah. That silver's amazing, isn't it? It's so good. Uh, Jacqueline O'Connell says that the silver has elevated the cake to the next level. Yeah, it really has. I'm dead impressed with it. Oh! Oh! Caught a fly. Caught me that time. <laughs> I was thinking I was down there by the kettle and thinking, do you know, I've not heard that go off all night. So there you go. So that, that's what you really need to do when it's sweating. Just pop up a little bit of kitchen roll around it. Just kind of quickly. So this happens with all our cakes because we do them live for you. And it can be a bit of a nightmare. I know myself and a few of the tutors go under slightly thinking, oh, God. <laughs> doesn't bother me. But it's because you've got to work with it. But we, otherwise, we just have to do two lives. Or loads of cakes. Yeah. I've already done three today. Yeah, so I don't, uh, don't, don't want to do any more. <laughs> right, that's that. One blotted cake. That's good. Just got that in front of you there. Right in front of you. Top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so back to the top of the cake. I'm just going to do a little more silver here and that will bring it down the side. And some of the finer stuff. It looks fantastic on the live here, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Just do that top again, Simon. I'll take a picture. Just go to the overhead. It is on the overhead. Oh, sorry, I'm not there yet. I'm <laughs> doing a screenshot. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I always forget that I'm behind. <laughs> so when I ask him to do something, I expect it straight away. <laughs> so who loves this cake? Isn't it amazing? There we go. And I think that is plenty. There on the top, might just pop a little bit more here inside. So these little crevices that you've got from using the kit that you would normally fill in, um, and I haven't, you can just pop some glitter into those, and that looks pretty ace. Yep, they absolutely love it. So Angela Sargeson says, it's the first time I've noticed the sweat bubbles on any of the demo cakes, is it? I believe you, I've spotted them all the time. <laughs> when I do my Facebook Lives and they've come out the freezer, I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> and it doesn't happen until it's been out a few minutes, does it? And it does disappear, but... Yeah, it does. And it doesn't really bother me, I just yeah. carry on. I have yeah. to say, that glitter, do you love that glitter? So the Cheryl Lee, is the cake black or white or purple? I can't tell on my phone. I've got to be honest, it's black, it's a, it's a grey colour. But I have to say, on the screen, it looks like purple. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah. But we've used the colour Splash Black for a grey. You can use any colour you want. But isn't it, isn't this fabulous? I am a pretty chuffed with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think so this should be. one. I think we're there with this one, Carol. Yeah. So should we get so that we the other one? Should have a look at the other one, yeah. Yeah, isn't that fabulous? A big round of applause. Look at this. Only on sugar and crumbs do we teach you everything. Hey. Eh? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> You'll be able to see better on photos anyway. That yeah. sparkle. But I can't explain to you how. Sparkly, sparkly that it is. is because you can't tell from a side view no on the camera i can see it in front of me super sparkly can you get in can you get in clear on a big bit side 
There you go. Look at that in the crevices here. Let's and keep then it still. around here. Keep it still so we can zoom in. You're whizzing around going. That's as that's, that's, um, that's that's best as you oh, can get. Oh, there we get. go. So you can see it in those little sort of crevices how sparkly that is. Yeah. It's Angela so Black, I want to do this now. <laughs> so twinkly. So it looks like you ladies are happy for me to put a pre-order on, pre on, which will be great. So if you're happy for me to do that, I'll get that pre-order on. I'll try and do it tomorrow, but I've got a live tomorrow. I might not get a chance. We'll just have to see how it goes. Okay, and now I've got my next one in the yep. freezer, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, we've none in there now, have we? I don't know. There's so. cake everywhere here at the moment, uh, isn't there? I opened that fridge before and thought, crikey, what the hell is that? Uh, it's that big giant cup and sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I had to move it from my towel <laughs> when we came in, because I, uh, I did that stupid thing by not putting it on a flat surface in uh, the car. Went round a roundabout really fast and right. over it went. I was going to say, do you want to show me the tower again as well? Yeah, yeah, I will do. So do this, show me the tower. And then I think we're going to be able to reveal this cake that you did. Do you think? I think so, yeah. Cool. In fact, I, I, I think it's ready now. But right, so let's just, just give it a bit longer. peel this stuff away. Look at this. So this gives you a different effect altogether. There we go. There go. So if you go to the group or to this page afterwards, at the top of this page, which is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles, there's a link to our Amazon web 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 website. Careful. I know. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Uh, to our Amazon website. Um, and if you go on there, everything that we buy off of the suppliers, I put links to them in there. And you'll be able to find the acetate colours in there. So I just trimmed that off with the palette knife, that little tail that we had, and I'll just keep flattening that down until I'm happy with it. You're sort of shaving it off, and that looks pretty good, I think. Just pretty a good. Bit more there. And then we are done with that. Get rid of this. They love it. Fabulous. So Annette Lawson says it's fabulous. June Barrett says it's stunning. Maureen Bailey said the glitter will be great on all the Christmas bakes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Elizabeth Moss says absolutely stunning. Um, Sheila Hudson is stunning. Linda Miles, love, love, love. They all love it. Well done. Fab. I'm not going to read out any more comments. I'm, I'm about 200 behind, I think. <laughs> The sparkles at the moment we're only doing in silver because it they they've had they're making this it's just been released and um, they're working on a gold one for me now so um, I'm hoping to have the gold well as soon as it's ready I'm hoping to order gold but at the moment they're doing the silver and I've done the free um, the free thicknesses so like I say there's a coarse there's a medium and there's a fine because. Um, I tell you why we've just put some new glitters on. We've just put some new sprinkles on reindeer poop, and um, <laughs> there's the white star, uh, white stars, and a few other things. I think a, a bit of a twinkle of the glitter in them will be great. In fact, I might just try it actually while we're here. Do you want to do comments again? Just while I go and try this before Claire takes this glitter on. Uh, don't use all the <laughs> glitter, okay? Don't use all glitter. glitter. Yeah, my glitter. Your glitter now, isn't it? Yeah, you already said I could have it. Eh? You already said there's no going back now. I know. <laughs> right, let's do a little bit of decoration on this bad boy, and then we'll see if we can reveal the other one. Because you never know, we might be able to. I don't know what you're up to, Carol. Are you a long I way behind? I'm about two hundred comments behind. Oh. <laughs> I know. I can't keep up. So you all like what I did about 15 minutes ago. I'm doing ago. a drum. <laughs> They're all liking what I did about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> all right. Looks gorgeous. <laughs> anyway. I love how she puts the creases in. What creases? Who oh, puts it in the creases? Puts it in the, the creases. There we go. It's like, not on the last cake, I was we? thinking. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't do those on purpose. No, I did. Yeah, the sparkle going in. Yeah. yeah, love the glitter. Claire doesn't want to put the glitter down. Now she's taking it home with her. I know. I said she can have it. I'm going to try, try and get a bit off her. Looks like crystals. Love it. Love it. 
Lovely. It does look like crystal, doesn't it? You know what it reminds me of? My son used to collect it. What's that, that, that rock stuff that he collects? What, like quartz and stuff? Oh, and it's like, um, what do they call it? Mm. Is it geo stuff or something? Oh, geodes and yeah. things like that, yeah. Would look gorgeous on the diamond anniversary cake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would look good. Looks like the inside of a mother of pearl shell. Yes. Yeah, it does. Um, yes to the pre-order. Yes to the pre-order. Beautiful. You're going to get through all these, aren't you? Oh, I'm sure I am. I'm having trouble now trying to find the wooden spoon. I don't know what we do with all our stuff. Oh, there's one wonder spoon. I used to have four wonder spoons. A couple of best one. ones yet, Claire. Hey? A couple of best ones yet. Just the coolest one, that's the coolest one, isn't it? Yes. Ooh. Steady on, don't waste it, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Carol. <laughs> bit more on the edge there. I'm not going to go too crazy with the painting on this one because I want to make this one quite um, mm -hmm. glittery, yeah. So that'll be enough there. And then on we go. So I'm going to take some to these edges. And again into these little nooks and crannies. I'm properly in love with this stuff, it's amazing. Ellen? I'm properly in love with it, it's so nice. There's just no product like this. It's the only one. It's a proper sparkle, you know. Sugar. Just going through an army rainbow poop everywhere. I haven't seen this there. Right. I haven't seen this poop yet. Can you wonder just the sparkle? Can you wonder just the sparkle? I'm not sure. I don't, like I don't, no, no, you could, you could, I it mean, wouldn't. put wonder dust in with the sparkle to make it. To make it a different colour, but I think it would dull the sparkle so yeah, much because you'd be putting a coating on it, so probably best not to. So remember, this isn't, uh, this is glitter, so, so as much as this is, we might have to give this a new name actually. Yeah. <laughs> Because if we, I don't want to go all in the confuser with wonder dust. No. Because it's glitter. So it's, um, we might have to think of a new name. Lots of positive comments. What about? <laughs> that was a John comment. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> so this is not. That was Geraldine Allen saying that. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> she cracks me up sitting right on that Geraldine Allen. I think we'll have to think of a name, name for this then, because. Um, it's not the luster this, so you won't be lustering this on your cakes. It will be more that you are going to paint with it. Hmm. I'll leave you lots to think of a name. You put like glitz and glam or something like that for it. Glitz and glam. Glitz and glam. <laughs> Shall I pass it back to you to read the positive comments I'm freaking clubbing. I'm clubbing. Have you seen me? Clubbing glitter everywhere. Right, let me go and catch up with comments. Oh, crack, yeah, was a lot back. Yep, so the pre-order of the glitters, I'll get them on either tomorrow or Friday. I'll try and get them on tomorrow, but I've got to get one of my cakes prepared in the morning. Then I've got to need to be in the warehouse and get back. So, um, let me just answer this question. Um, and Denise Luang says, yes please, love it. I think she's referring to the um, glitters. Yeah. So you'll find that Claire is using the Wonder Dust to paint with, okay? So which colour are you using there? Do you remember um, which I gold it was? The, uh, yes, I've still got it here. I think it's bright gold. Bright gold. Yeah, yeah. bright gold. And then she's adding glitter to it, alright? And this is edible glitter. 
And so I you feel don't, like there's enough on there. Yeah, there's more than enough on there. So you don't luster your cakes with the edible glitter. You're just going to dab that on. What did you dab it on with? I just used a little flat paintbrush. And did you add it into any water or anything like no, that? No, what I did was I put a little bit of rejuvenator on my brush. Yeah, and just picked so it up it with that. Yeah. yeah, just so it, was, it would stick to it, that's all. Yeah. Can you see that all right, Simon? Yes, I was just looking at the turntable because Sally Gillian has asked, is it the new PME turntable? That's the new PME turntable, yes it is, and oh, it's, it's fabulous, nice, yeah. I've yeah. not used this one no, before here, it's lovely. Yeah. I normally, and my, my favourite one of all time is the Atico turntable, which I was stuck in, but we can't get any more in. But I will say this PME one, it's, it's, a, it's a third of price and it's brilliant. Really it is, it's really very nice. And does um, the top come off? No. Uh, it didn't when I picked it up before. No, I know. Well, that's the other problem I with the Atico turntable. I haven't used yeah. this one. Um, Wonder Sparkle. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So Debbie Hargreaves. I think you might know what would be winging your way when it comes in. <sighs> Wonder Sparkle, I like that Wonder Sparkle, do you? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we'll good. reveal the last one. What was the last one? Oh, oh the last cake, yeah. I was say, what was the last one? <laughs> right, so the cake that Claire did before, cake. I think has been in, what, what time is it now? So Sunday. I think that's been in the freezer, what? An hour? an hour and a half, do you think, or an hour? An hour. I'll right, let's say. see if it's ready to come off. An hour and a half, because we've been only been going an hour and three quarters. Right. Let's see if it's ready and to not, come off. I mean, off. I'm quick, but not that quick. Right, let's see if it's ready to come off. It does need normally a couple of hours, but let's see. We'll soon know, be able to know if it comes away. If you're, um, if you're, um, what do they call it, that collar? If the collar doesn't come away, it's not ready. So don't keep pulling at it. Oh, yeah, I like that name, Wonder Sparkle. So what we're going to do is, we're not sure it's ready yet, we're just going to try it. Oh, I like Wonder Glitter as well. Oh, I might have to do a poll. Wonder Glitter, Wonder Sparkle. Keep forgetting I can take it off this. I don't yeah. have to like, balance everything <laughs> in the air while I'm doing it. I'm just going to put it on the turn. Some hard work sometimes, aren't I? Yeah. Oh. It's looking good. It's looking good. So, this hasn't had the full three to four hours, but we're just going to try it now. Otherwise, it's going to get it fastened back on and go back in the freezer again. Up you get, you little monkey. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. It's going. It's going. Yeah. Yay! It wasn't quite as pingy as I'd have liked, but yeah. It's done there it. you go. So this is one we've done live. It. There, Margot Cook. Look. It's <laughs> cracking. You can do it. <laughs> you can you do it. Now, don't forget, do it. this is a smaller cake as well. This is a five-inch cake. Well, a four-inch cake, but now it's five inches with all the buttercream on. So I presume the bigger the cake, the longer it's going to take. So look at that. Wow. Oh. Do you love it? Do you know some days you just impress yourself as well, don't, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Three cakes. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that great? If I can get the monkey off here, yeah. There we go. There's already a wonder sparkle on Amazon. Oh. Oh, is there? Okay. Wow, look at this. Come on, ladies. Look at that. It's been in the freezer an hour and a half. Okay, and I've got a little gap where I took my thingy in and out again. But that's easily filled in. Just with your white buttercream, give it a quick smooth round. And jobs are good. Fantastic. Loaded. Love it. Yeah, I love it as well. Pretty yeah. pleased with that, Bob. Very good. So, well done. Should we get all three cakes lined up? Yeah. Let's so, do look it. at that. All that. Two different ideas for you for creating those effects. How fabulous is that? So, we'll love that. And then we'll talk to you about the treat tower. 
and then the pre-order we need to have a name for these glitters it looks like there's already a wonder sparkle i don't know who just said that susan richmond susan richmond thanks sue so we've got wonder glitz coming can't have magic sparkles because there's already a magic sparkles uh, will these cakes be stacked these cakes won't be stacked no because they're all the same size um, so we won't be stacking these um, but if you did them in different sizes you could yeah absolutely. so this is using the Bridget's um, cake ganashing kit okay and then we've used the flavored icing sugars Claire has used key lime tonight and then we use the wonder dust paints and we're using the new glitters that's coming in so we're gonna to have to think of a different name to wonder sparkle as there is one already out Ooh. wonder shimmer well i've got wonder bling wonder jewels i've got shimmer and shine i don't yeah, think i'll get away with it they're more than a shimmer yeah. aren't they i don't think i'll get away with shimmer and shine i think that I might have somebody chasing me wonder bling look at this work of art it's being told guys wonder dazzle wasn't going to put anything on this but i can't help myself you can't Look help yourself there. now you're going to get it done have you oh. <laughs> but like, mad uh, this is on. buttercream so we've done it with buttercream tonight cheryl so if you want to watch this live again feel free to pop over to our youtube channel watch it over there so our youtube channel is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles we would love it if you subscribed it's free to subscribe and um, just let me ask you when you subscribe to youtube do you have to set up your own channel uh, no but you have to be um you have to have, be signed in yes yeah. if you want to comment that you have to have a channel isn't it mm -mm. no I it used to, to be signed in to yeah comment. it used to say you needed to set up your own channel yeah no i've just had, I had somebody comment. message me today and said i've tried to log in but they want me to set up my own channel no they just set up your own mm. account essentially yeah so, yeah. so they so, can buy you if you say something yeah nasty. um so this wonder shine sparkle dust bright sparkles i like sparkly shoes sparkalicious <laughs> sparkalicious <laughs> yeah but we've got sprinklicious oh yeah. yeah might be a bit close yeah sparkle wonder twinkle dust there is a twinkle dust by rainbow dust Glitz and Glam, there's something called Glitz and Glam, sparkly bits, Glamour Glitters, oh I don't know, Glitz and Sparkles, there's loads there, I don't know, I'm going to have to think of a name now. I'll think, I'll think right. as well. Right, do you want to tell them about, are you going to carry on painting then. or are you going to tell no, them about No, no, I won't, I'll stop cake? painting now because I think if you look at the time you'll find that I'm not late tonight. No, you're not late, it's amazing. Mm. Yeah, Check I don't know out. what they're going to do with themselves. I know, everybody was in for the long haul thing, yeah, people have yeah. got flasks. Well, the lady was on holiday, picnic. she won't get told off now for staying well. up all night watching us. Sorry to disappoint you tonight, guys. I don't know what's <laughs> got into me. It just, I think it went a bit quiet yeah. in the middle when I was concentrating, because yeah. normally I'd have sang an inappropriate song by now, wouldn't I? So, is Margot Cook still with us? Are you happy now, Margot, how it's done? So who has the ganache cake kits? Um, who has them and who's used them? And we've done loads of demos already with them. This is the one with the buttercream. I always use buttercream and I always use um, the sugar and crumbs whipping it up um, mix as well for the Swiss meringue buttercream. And I've never ever today had a problem. I've never had a fail. The only fail I had the other week was I tried to do it a different way. I forgot to put buttercream on the top. You know that you know the upside down. Method. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to put buttercream on it. <laughs> um, so Sharon Carpenter says you just need an account and to be signed into signed in to comment on YouTube. Yeah. It used to. It went through a stage of telling me that if I wanted to, I had to start I had to. Um, get my own channel but i think it was i don't know if it was some kind of glitch somewhere mm. where it just wasn't letting me comment on stuff so cheryl lee says i bought this in a nine inch to do eight inch cakes yep that's fine you can do that so you pop your if you're gonna the way i do it if i'm using buttercream okay and i only do buttercream i i would use a nine inch a nine inch in a nine inch tin with no foam and put in an eight inch cake okay then put all the buttercream round if you're going to use ganache put in the foam 
because it uses up a lot of ganache and some ladies were saying it was quite expensive on the amount of chocolate that you have to yeah. use so put in the foam and you make the chocolate really loose really loose okay there we go and she's back yeah and she's back so so the other one's not here is it is the other one no the it's down at the warehouse yeah oh, i was going to pop them side by side i should side. have brought them back yeah I thought it would be nice side i wouldn't side. mind i looked at it as well on my way out tonight um, ding dong. They had enough stuff to bring back for me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, just let me tell you about the class. If you have bought the Mermaid Tower class, you can buy this Baby Treat Tower class for £15. That's half price. Mm. So go and have a look for the members price. If you bought the mem if you bought this one at full price, you can go and buy the mermaid class at half price, okay? So if you've not bought any of the classes, you can't buy any at the members price. So don't tick that button because Karen Naylor's having to email you back and say, sorry. Yeah. You're hiding. Yeah. Yeah, I just sort of pop to the side here. Give it a little cuddle. Um <laughs> and just talk about it for a minute. Um so this one um, is quite different from how we do the mermaid treat tower with respect to sort of how many moulded elements and things like that. But um, the thing that I really like about this is the thing that's really simple, which is meringues. But if I just turn it a little and show you very gently, you can see, I'm sure you can see, that I have loads of can you see here? So I've got some quite large feet, some little blue ones here, got some little lemon ones here, and I've got little pink ones over here. And that, to be honest, is the cutest thing ever, I think. Which? <laughs> the baby feet. Oh yeah, I, just, I do. I, just I love the baby love feet. Them. Yeah, I do. I just think they're so cute. So, and like I say, they're all piped. So I just show you, I show you piping techniques, I show you how to make cake pops, there's cakesicles. There's um, using your sultan meringue um, nozzle because uh, that can be quite tricky. Um, and then you've got a multitude of balls. Again, don't look at me like that. What? A multitude of balls. balls. Everyone well, knows Kathy how much Eaton I like my says, balls. Kathy so. Eaton says no top bands between Claire and Simon could be the reason for the early finish. It, yeah, Kathy, really you're only watching that. for these two winding each other up. Well, he's bloody scared. He's got to take everyone to Timberley on the coach. He's been very quiet tonight. He has been very quiet tonight. And, and he wanted to do your live tonight as well. Mm. Yeah. What a waste. He was given so, an option of four lives this waste. week. And he chose Monday and Wednesday. This is always the best, isn't it? That's the dream team. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> the dream team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think what he did was take the mickey out of me enough before we went live and vice versa and then uh, we were all out of uh, picking on each other by the yeah, time we had a whole we're, hour with each other beforehand. What we're doing Claire is saving it all up for the 2nd of October. Yeah, 2nd <laughs> of October. It's not all right. going to go down on the 2nd of October, I tell you. Simon and I were always niggling with each other, he just ups, shuts up now and says nothing. Yeah, he doesn't sort of... He don't go for it now, does he? I mean... As well, I've noticed that he stopped offering suggestions of how I could do things better. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Which so you told him. <laughs> do you remember when you used to do that? And I'd, I had to put you in your place and I'm then... Sorry, should I, should I have been doing that tonight? <laughs> yeah, quite probably. Although I don't think I could have done anything better, really. So you'd have struggled to find something, surely. So the baby um, treat tower is no, on I've the got, classes. I'll tell you afterwards, I've got a few suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear them. So I'll ignore you completely. People who want to do the baby treat tower, it is on the website. So if you go to the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you can drop down to online tutors straight into Claire Corbett's name and see all the classes she's done past and forward. When you get the class, it's yours forever. You can keep going back to it. So don't be frightened of joining in any of other Claire's other classes. And it is live on the website. Like I say, don't forget, if you've bought the Mermaid Tower, then buy this one at the member's price. If you've not bought one, you have to pay full price. 
but it means you can buy future towers at half price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we need lots of you to join because Claire has done a 50% discount. So obviously we need to think about yeah. Claire's earnings and pennies. Big so we need to get you one. in. Eh? So it's big a big discount. discount. Um, so Carol we need you. my arm on that one. Yes, I did. I don't, I don't think you uh, realise when I asked you. Oh, no, so, no. Lady, well, I knew when I just thought... Mm. So, ladies, <laughs> come on, we need you to support Claire. She comes and does fantastic demos for you, um, shows you lots of hints and tips. So, come on, come and join her uh, classes. And you know it'll be fun. Yeah, you will. If it's nothing else, it's always fun. Absolutely. And what's the other classes you've got coming up, Claire? Um, so, the next class Should have brought them all with is me. is the... I know. I didn't think at all. I'm it's kicking all right. myself. I'll, I'll bring them shortly. home tomorrow night and I'll show everyone tomorrow night. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, the next one is the um, treat boxes class and then it's, yeah, so it's treat boxes and then it's baby tower and then it's Halloween tower and then it's first birthday cake and then it's wedding tower and then it's Christmas tower. And Madeline, There's a fair bit going on. Madeline's just signed up for your baby tower. Oh, so, yeah, good. So, come on, ladies, we need more of you to join up. Those of you who are in the uh, mermaid tower, you get this one at half price. So, yes. let's so see you all an join up. Absolute yeah. bargain. Absolutely. It really is. Goody good. Top this back. Right then, so we'll pull these other three, well, we'll pull the other three cakes around your baby tower and we'll say goodbye. And I will get the glitters on tomorrow. I might not have a name for them tomorrow. They might be just pre-order glitters, I don't know. I need to have a chat with the girls in the, in the office, have a chat with John, and um, if I don't get them up tomorrow, they'll be up before the weekend. So they'll be pre-ordered, and you can order, you, you can have free shipping with them. Yeah? All right, then. Goody good. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you've all enjoyed it, Evan, tonight. And Simon. Yes. It's been lovely having you nice and quiet in the kitchen behaving yourself tonight. No. Oh, oh, well, I expect more from you next time. have done a great job tonight. I think there could have been a bit more if uh, Carol had read out the rude comments, but she wouldn't do it, so. <laughs> it's really on Carol, guys. Yeah, Is and thank you, Claire. No? <laughs> I missed what was going to happen on the coach trip. Right. <laughs> And thank you, Claire, for coming in it's again. It's been an absolute pleasure, yeah. guys. Thank you for having me. And thank you, ladies, for your third night watching us this week. You've got thank one you. more to go tomorrow night. I'm back in the kitchen. I'll be watching. And Claire will be As watching. Always. You've watched everyone this week, haven't you? Yeah, I love the bants in the comments. Just love it. I can't get it on. <laughs> I'm just totally there for the bants. <laughs> right. Cheerio, everyone. Night-night. Bye. Bye. Bye.